Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the third form of the equation of the line which is known as the slope intercept form or also known as our SIF. I think you're already familiar with this one because I have already discussed this one in our previous videos. Okay, and uh, let me just uh, give you a heads up because I think I did not wrote it down. Um, the very first one is the two-point form or the TPF. The second one would be the um, slope. No, no, no. The two slope intercept form. Yeah, the slope intercept form. There you go. So uh, SIF. So we are using this acronym so that it's easier for us to identify which one we would be using. Okay. And as for this one, it's called the SIF or the slope intercept form. So let's go immediately to our um, slope which is y is equals to mx plus b. So this is our formula for our slope intercept form. Now if you, um, I would be discussing the different values here because you're not familiar with the b yet. Okay, so the m would be of course the slope and it can be interpreted in many other ways. But since in this case m lang siya, so you would be given one value. The next one would be b. The b is just simply the y-intercept. Okay. And the y-intercept is basically the point in the y-axis that the line intersects with. So in this point, for example, we have this line, itong line L na yan, this slant line here. Yan. Okay. When it touches the y-axis, this is your y-intercept. That, that would be your B. Okay. So, yan. so knowing the, the, ano, the different fact, um, variables that we will be dealing with, Let's proceed to our example. And our very first example is just simply um, m is equal to negative 5 over 3 and our b is equal to 1. Okay? So, this would be the, ano, for me, this is the easiest. I know, no, not the easiest. This is second to the easiest um, form of the equation of the line. Kasi ang ginagawa mo lang dito, basically, guys, the only thing that you do here is substitute and element substitute element of fraction if there would be and or transpose ganun lang po okay so what would happen here we have y here it has no value okay then our m is negative 5 over 3 and of course our x would stay the same and as for the b is just simply 1 okay so you're already near in near completion now after you have substitute substituted okay the only thing you need to do is you need to eliminate the fraction okay so, as for elimination of fraction, since there would be no parentheses, like there's no multiplication within them, yan. Ito lang talaga yan. Okay? The elimination of the fraction in the slope intercept form is a little bit different from the elimination of fraction in the SIF, the slope inter, I mean the um, point slope form, and also the two point form. So, ibang iba siya. In what sense? This 3 will not be given to y only. It will also be given to the 1 or the intercept, the y-intercept. Okay? So you would be distributing the denominator to both the y value and also the intercept. Multiplication. So doing that, y is equals to negative 5. Sorry. Multiply na pala natin. 3 times y is 3y equals to negative 5x and 3 times 1 would be positive 3. Okay? And having this value, what would happen now would be transpose na tayo. Okay? So we transpose now this negative 5x here on the other side plus 3y equals to 3. Bakit po? Why did we transpose? Because of course we always want it to look like the standard form being ax plus by equals to c. So, check your answer. If your answer is already in the standard form and the x is also positive already, then therefore, this would be your equation of the line. So, you see, it's a little bit easier okay, than the other forms kasi ang gagawin lang natin dito is we substitute and or, hindi kayo kasi sure kung may fraction lagi, eliminate the fraction, and lastly, transposition. That And that would be your um, method. Okay? So, let's proceed to our next example. Say we have our slope as 5. So, you will see here, okay na. 
kasi wala ka ng fraction. And your y-intercept is equals to 2. Okay? So, again, by substitution po, what would happen would be our, let me just write it down para familiar kayo, y is equals to mx plus b. Okay? Our m would be 5 and our x would stay the same and our b would just simply be 2. So, by substitution, substitute ganyan na agad. Since there is no fraction, you will immediately transpose everything to the other side. So, giving you 5x plus y is equals to 2. And again, for cosmetics only, if you would, um, I would prefer your x to be positive. Therefore, if you change the value of x, you will change, I mean the sign. Okay? If you change the sign of x, then everything else will change as well. So, this is negative y and this would be negative 2 giving you 5x minus y is equals to negative 2, your equation of the line. Okay? So, let's have another example. We'll have four examples for this one. Um, say we have our slope as 2 and our intercept as 3 halves. Okay? So, again, what would happen here is we would substitute in our y is equals to mx plus b, our m is 2, our x is of course x, and our intercept is 3 halves. So the same concept guys. If you would want to eliminate the fraction, may it be in the slope or in the intercept, you distribute the denominator to every given term in our equation. Okay, in every given term in our equation. So distributing this two. 2y and 2x would give us, sorry, uh, I think I wrote that. It will give us a value of 2y is equals 2, kasi 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 2x is 4x, leaving us with 3, kasi inalis na natin, we have already removed the denominator. And lastly, we just simply need to transpose everything, all variables, I mean, to the other side, leaving us with negative 4x plus 2y is equals to positive 3. And lastly, for cosmetics lang, so that it looks good, um, 4x, I think it's aesthetics. Yeah. In, any, in any case, so 4x, oh, sorry, minus 2y is equals to negative 3. x is positive now, therefore this will be your equation of the line. Okay, and next one, Last example, we'll have four examples in our given. Um, say we have our slope as two fractions. Let's have two fractions. Say we have two-thirds and our slope uh, intercept is um, five over five over four. Yeah. And having these two fractions would be a little bit complicated, but it would st the method would still be the same, okay? So, our y is the same, slope is 2 thirds, okay, and we have our x here, okay, let me undo that, okay, x, plus our intercept being 5 over 4. Now, what do we do here if your slope and your, um, what do you call this, your slope is a fraction and your intercept is a fraction, so the same lang po, guys, we still need to perform the elimination by distribution. So, ito, bigay ko yan dyan. This 3, I will give it to 5 fourths. And this 3, I will give it to 4. And the same goes for our 4 here. I will give it to our x. And I will also give it to our y. Okay? So, let's distribute first our 3. So, distributing 3 to, to every 1 will give us 3 times y is 3y equals to, matitira si 2x plus, what is 3 times 5? Remember, it would go like this, uh, 5 fourths times 3. And it's just basically multiplication of the numerator po. Okay, 5 times 3 is 15, giving us, sorry, wait lang, 15, giving us 15 over 4. Then we go to the 4, let's give it away, okay? So, 4 times 3 is 12y, okay, equals to, 4 times 2 is 8x, and of course, we have 15. So, we have already eliminated the two fractions. And it would just be the combination of eliminating the fraction for the um, slope part and eliminating the fraction for the intercept part. Okay, you always just simply need to multiply. Okay, 
to every given term except for u for the this one okay so mawala lang yan technically okay now all the fractions are gone now we need to transpose negative 8x plus 12y is equals to positive 15 we need to make our x positive so not necessarily need okay we want our x to be positive therefore we change the sign for everything giving us 8x minus 12y is equal to negative 15 and this would be our equation of the line okay so i hope that you have picked that up it's a little bit easier than the other two um, previous forms if you would have any other questions you can um, go through the video again or chat me in our chat group thank you again everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh